Okay. Yeah. The baby's name was Alexander. Yeah. And the guy wanted to name him what? Wit. Whittium. Whittium. I think something like that, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Although, do you remember King's Quest Three? I don't know. It was the one with the wizard. That's been too long ago. Okay. Well, I think... I don't know. But I'm going to assume that um, Manny was the wizard from that one. And this is not necessarily that story, but, like, that's that's what they're getting at. Because I'm pretty sure... Because you play the character under the care of the, the wizard okay. in that one. The sorcerer or whatever. So may, maybe that's... Because I don't remember if you play as Alexander in that one or not, but I feel like you might. I don't remember. <clears throat> I don't remember it. Anyways. Okay. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to King's Quest Chapter 4. Birds, get the message out. The prince has been kidnapped. Birds, get the message out? Fish. Yes. Son, can you hear my voice? Fish, get the message out. Squirrels. Oh, no. Hello. Is anyone there? Have you seen the prince? Where have you taken my son? <laughs> Why are you talking to little furry animals? I guess they can talk to squirrels, so there's that. Alexander! 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 Any sign? The first 24 hours are the most critical. We need to search everywhere. Contact everyone. The trolls. The Goblin King. Message V. Have her search in the east. Yes. Absolutely. If she would respond to my letters. What? Oh, never mind. We'll work that out later. I won't sleep until Alexander is back in our arms. I'll reach out to Queen Madeline. Her squirrels can cover ground quickly. Good plan. We looked up every tree and down every goblin hole, hoping for a sign or clue from our son. Do I follow her or do I go this way? <laughs> well, he told her son, to go. Son, are you down there? <laughs> he is the worst hide and seek person <laughs> ever. Goblins? You better not have him down there, for your sake! It's like, hey dad, let's play hide and seek! I'm coming down there! Are you under this rock? <laughs> Where did you go? I tore through that bedroom looking for any sign of my son. Looking. And we didn't. For 18 years, I never gave up hope. That was part of his blanket, right? Yeah, or something. 18 oh. years. Oh my goodness. They still haven't found him. And he's never shaved. <laughs> it's time, dear. We've done all we can. Daventry needs you to get back to work. I'm not sure if I remember how. Come on, Dad. I'll help. Rosella had grown into a beautiful young lady. She was the perfect daughter. But it was hard for me to focus on anything knowing my family was incomplete. The Affordable Custard Initiative, really? That's the important paperwork crucial to Daventry's future? I'd rather be out searching for my son. Come now, dear. A spoonful of custard is the only joy some people get in this life. We have to break out of this funk. What about a vacation? The holiday's coming, and I've always wanted to visit the place where you met Mom. We have to get through all this paperwork first. Do you want me to whip up some chocolate chip pancakes? Uh, that does 
Sound good, actually. Perhaps for dinner. Oh, I know. Staring contest. <laughs> Those always cheer me up. Oh, I don't know. What's the matter? Afraid you might lose your undefeated record? Well, no, it's just... Too late. Tavern Tree to Cree P33 P3 R5 states that no one can deny a starring contest when challenged by the royal family. <laughs> I knew that decree would backfire. You're pretty brave challenging your father to a staring contest. Oh, is that a smirk? Nope. I just have a smirky mouth. Has anyone seen my keys? I'm totally with this. This is so far. Okay. I see a smile. <laughs> this beard covers all smiles. You will never win. <laughs> this beard covers all smiles. <laughs> Have I ever told you? They call me Pockets, too. It's a family name. Oh, are your eyes getting heavy? No. Mm. No. Are you trying to Kinda. stare, Mom? Are you trying not to blink? Yeah. Ripples! Not funny. Okay, my eyes are really starting to hurt. Thinking on funny thoughts. Sardine smoothies. Frog Dog Fridays. Morphe's itchy back. Focus, Graham. You're slipping. You are not concentrating. Tickle fight! Oh, 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 cheater! Cheaters, both of you! <laughs> Alexander? Uh, actually, my name is Gwydion. Oh my. Oh my. He has come to take the crown. Probably. Just right from the heart, dear. Uh, I'm just having trouble seeing the point of all this. The words aren't coming. Oh, Graham. Since when have you had trouble finding words? Perhaps some popcorn-flavored jelly beans would help spark your imagination? Sorry, love. But I just don't have much of an appetite, not even for popcorn-flavored jelly beans. It was worth a shot. Come on, let's bust out of here. Wouldn't you rather be on an adventure? We could take that trip to Kalima we've been talking about. That does sound lovely, but every moment with you is all the adventure I could ever hope for. It's best to take care of these things now. The doctors were pretty clear about that. It's time we tell the children. All right. You called for me? Yes. Your grandfather and I have something we would like to tell you. You should probably take a seat. Ah, oh, follow me. I... Uh, uh, um... Hold on. Let me gather my thoughts. You know that I have had many great and fulfilling adventures. But there comes a time in every king's life when he must... when he must... There comes a time when every king must hand over his tasks to a worthy successor. And that's why I am giving you the very important job of filing this letter with the official court of amendments to addendums. I need some changes enacted immediately. Mm. Was that all? Yes. The changes outlined in the letter are critical to the well-being of Daventry. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Sorry. 
And which addendum should this be filed under? Why, the number is on the front, of course. Addendum 48677. I see. Farewell, Grandpa. I do hope you feel better. Hey! Gar... Why haven't you been talking to me? What did I do? Have a seat. Your grandma and I have something to tell you. Not even sure a story could cheer me up. What's the matter, sweetheart? It's Gart. He hasn't said one word to me for three days. He lost in our game of wits, but I don't think that's what's bothering him. He's just been so cold and distant lately. I'm sure whatever it is will pass. The bonds of a strong family like ours are not easily broken. Actually, that does remind me of a story, one I have not thought about in a while. And interestingly enough... Go ahead. Interestingly enough, it's about your father. We were in the middle of a very cold winter, and Alexander was having a hard time adjusting to the life of a royal. So we decided the best thing for everybody was to take a family vacation to Avalon. Oh, the spot where you fell in love with Grandma. Yes, and the weather was much sunnier there this time of year. It would be a great opportunity to get to know my son. I had a thousand questions about how he escaped Mananan, but I didn't want to bombard him all at once. So, son, I thought perhaps we'd make a little detour so I could share one of my favorite spots. Sounds good to me. I do have one tiny request, though. Anything for my Alexander? Yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> it's that name. Uh, you don't want to be called Gwydion. Do you? Oh, no, no, no. It, it's just, I figured since I have to learn a new name anyway, why not pick something with a little more spark in it? You know, something with a little mystery? Something like, I don't know, Caduceus the Magnificent! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I always love that name. Um, you actually want to be called Caduceus? I mean, it's just a thought. More like a dream. Well, it's not a very princely name, but w we can talk about it. Really? Now, what to show you first? What indeed? What should we show him? Over on the right. And this is a small sampling of my collected treasures over the years. The magic chest has provided our kingdom with many riches. The magic shield has protected Daventry for years. And these beautiful gems... Well, the gems were really just for bonus points. I like looking at them. They're pretty. Why is why are they out in the open? <laughs> um, we can do the statue. Oh, you can. Okay. King Graham the Brave, huh? One day you will have a statue of your own right next to mine. I'm not really sure Alexander the Brave suits me at all. Well, who else will carry on the family legacy? Come on, King Caduceus has a nice ring to it. <laughs> King Caduceus. King Caduceus. <laughs> Check it out. The trophy that won me the knighthood. Very nice. Wait, is that a custard pie on the top of it? <laughs> After sharing a bit about my legacy with Alexander and showing him my treasures, we headed into town to grab some supplies for our trip. Okay, um, I guess we'll show him around. Did he not go in with him? <laughs> Whoa! 
What in the jarble snoofdom is that? Oh, hey. Alexander, right? We've been expecting you. I'm Amaya. That's Whisper. Toodle pee. And this is the Crumbler 2. <laughs> Whoa. What does a Crumbler 2 do? <laughs> well, does it chop? Yes. Does it lift? Of course. Will it crumble? Most definitely. But Crumbler 2 also digs holes, smashes goblins, searches for treasure, solves puzzles, battles, manticores, whirls stakes, tucks and whisper. So soothing. Feel like a puddin'? Got you covered. Hate small talk? So does Crumbler. No time to tend petunias? Crumbler never sleeps. It's a reasonably priced, ergonomic, one-device solution for all your crumbling needs. And of course, it doubles as a bed. You know, in case yours goes missing. <laughs> Great pitch! Oh yeah, been working on that. Are we still working on the spends quality time with whisper feature? Uh-uh, don't be needy. Can I pre-order three Crumbler 2s? Bold. I like that in a prince. Well, Whisper can be bold. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's pretty bold to love someone other than Whisper. Daventry is so strange. You're telling me, kid. I'm just a small-town gal trying to sell affordable shield swords and maces. Mace? Yeah, oh, oh, you mean the Gwydian behave stick. I'm not fully up to speed with all the regional slang yet. That's heartbreaking. Whisper is not a fan of Mananen. Son, Amaya has a special surprise for you. Can you wait outside for me so it doesn't get spoiled? Sure thing. Nice meeting everybody. The pleasure's all ours. Proud you made it home. Whisper could use a snack, so Whisper will escort you. Ah! Ah! Is it up to your specifications? It's spectacular. It should suit him well. Your finest bow work yet. Oh, and I actually have another gift. For you. For me? Of course. Just a little token of my appreciation for all the hard work you've put into Daventry. Here you go. Wow! Is that solid gold? Sure is. I melted down all the shiny gold coins you've spent here to make it. You really have earned the title of King Graham the Brave. There's been a certain boldness in everyone's eyes around here since you took the throne. And I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my... Mm, heart. Thanks, Amaya. I know how hard it is for you to get gushy. Yeah, I don't get used to it. Oh, is that it? We didn't get to see anybody else? Okay. I haven't been able to do much of anything. Yeah. So, how are we getting to this Avalon? Is there like a parade of royal steeds? Are they late? <laughs> I wanted the whole family to ride together, so I booked the most spacious carriage I could think of. Konnichiwa, Richards! <laughs> Boy, so good to return to your gold! I mean, bold! <laughs> Holy Stromboli! You've multiplied, mated, and procreated! Ha, doink, doink! And you've let your belly day slide! I never got married. Research shows it's the number one cause of divorce, but, uh, oh, just look at all those beautiful cheeks to pinch. Shalom, whoosh, salami, whoosh, saliva. Whoosh. Oh, if I met this one, I'd never forget a face like that. Call me Caduceus. Oh, yeah, you're that Gwydian guy. Your dad rescued me from the goblins. Pity he couldn't save you. Now, then, that's enough dawdling, people. Let's get this freak show on the road. Grammy boy, you'll have to load your own luggage. Mr. Fancy Cakes is peeved you left him to die in the caves. And I forgot to pack my lifting shorts. All right, I got this. Do you want help? No, dear, I got this. I'm not sure that will all fit. Should we tie some to I the don't roof? Tell you have to fit It'll it fit. On there. I'll make it fit. It kind of looks like it, they <laughs> That looks a little bit like a puzzle. Yeah, uh, that thing. I was thinking Tetris blocks, but yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that is this episode. We'll we'll figure out how to pack <laughs> next time <laughs> on Dipple Stars King's Quest with his mom. <laughs>